Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Now, before we get started, hope you had a nice Easter. And second of all, if you are ever in a relationship and somebody tries to hit on you, I want to show you a nice little tactic to keep those people from hitting on you away. So the first step is to recede your upper lip into your mouth like this. And then the only other thing you need to do is now say something really creepy to keep them off of your ass. Hey baby, you want to get, please get away from me? Uh, I don't smell very much. I smell like sugary candy. Just sell it from the candy store. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kyler and I hope you're having a swell day and welcome back to the second part of the Loot Crate unboxing video. So if you haven't seen the first part, oh no, here's the thumbnail. Oh, it already went away. How sad. But if you want to watch the first part, please, uh, link will be in the description below. You can view it there. Uh, if you've already seen the part, then let's just jump right into the second part. What's in box number four? Okay, so let's see. Um... We have a nice little Fallout hat, and it comes in a nice little package. To be honest, I have not played any of the Fallout games, but it's a nice little hat. Um, I'll just keep it in the package for now. We've got a little sister Bioshock figurine in the in the box. I think I'll just keep it in the box. I almost beat Infinite, but uh, I just never finished the part because I think it got to like the very end with the giant robotic owl, and I couldn't beat beat it for some reason. So. Unfortunately, it couldn't beat it, but this is still a nice little package. It's dented a little bit, and it's a Loot Crate, crate exclusive, too, so that's kind of cute. Ooh, well, what do you know? It's The Last of Us. Uh, it's a Last of Us journal, it looks like. It seems that, oh, I have a, another I have another means of keeping stuff, you know, written down for personal and private information, but I love The Last of Us. It's one of my favorite games, and unfortunately, second game did get canceled which is sad because I pre-ordered it on Amazon and we don't know when it's actually coming out. So it's sad, but you know, at least I have a nice little memento of The Last of Us and a nice little piece of um, medium I can write stuff in. A, what is this? A Horizon Zero Dawn. It's a, oh, it's just a keychain you put in your key. I actually do have the game, but I didn't play a whole lot of it. I did get it as a birthday present a couple of years back. I probably should finish that game. It's a po it's a fun game, to be honest. I did have fun, but then I just stopped playing, moved on to other games and such. But it is a nice little keychain. You just slide it out like this. Keep it out of the, if you want it out of the the package, the loose packaging. Oh, it's an assassin. It's an Assassin's Creed pin. So unlike the pins in the first part, um, it doesn't come in nice little packaging. I mean. I'll settle for it, but come on, you guys could have at least put a little more effort into the packaging. And the last item in here is oh, another poster, hallelujah. It's a Fallout poster, um, specifically Fallout 4 in design, and the theme for this is survive. Well, that makes a whole lot of sense. Oh, I'm not folding this up correctly. Okay, I can't close the poster up. Gotta say, I'm slightly disappointed in it. I mean, the only thing I genuinely liked is the book, Last of Us book, and the Assassin's Creed pen. That's kind of really all I care about, to be honest. But hey, you're gonna have some duds with some boxes, so it is what it is. Box number five, here we go. And then, oh my, oh dear. This is a Skyrim fleece throw, so it looks like a, it's a nice little blanket. I probably will uh, not open it, unfortunately. I can't get into the games where there's a lot of, or just like a lot of hours you need to spend on. Maybe, maybe one day, but unfortunately not for me. Um, Red Dragon Die Keeper. Um, My disappointment is immeasurable. Not not into Dungeons and Dragons, but you know if you like Dungeons and Dragons, hey, that's that's quite okay. There seems to be something in here. Um, it's a uh, some sort of plastic horn. I'm not sure what game this is from. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to see on the packaging. If anybody knows what this game is from, please let me know. I have no idea. Um, fortunately, uh, I wish it was a better quality. To be honest, Plas it's I mean it's plastic. I mean it's, it is what it is. It's whatever. This is a a pin. This pin unlocks something epic. Um, go to this website. I don't think so. Come on, what's going on with the packaging? You gave me nice packaging in the last video, so I don't know what's going on. This is this just gonna be a, a sad theme or something like that? It's a Magic the Gathering Arena. Um, not into card games, unfortunately. So um, I don't know if this code is relevant, but here's this code if you guys want to use it. I am certainly not going to use this. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's two posters in here from the creators of Rick and Morty. Trover, save the universe. I know that, yeah, this is a game. I don't know what it is, but it's made by the same guy who created Rick and Morty, so 
It's a nice, it's a, I like the composition of the poster, it's very nice. I wonder what poster it's going to be. I took a wild guess, it's Magic the Gathering. What theme, what's the theme on this anyways? Alrighty, well, uh, two boxes in, and they're both slight, they're pretty much both disappointing. I'd say the second box right here, box five, has been the most disappointing because of the things I don't really care about, so. Okay, last box for this episode. This episode went by pretty quick, I'd say. Alrighty, here we go. I guess we'll start off with the collectible pin. Oh, this is really nice. It's a player one, player two sort of collectible pin. It has health bars, you know, of your life and stuff. That's not too shabby, actually. I do like that. A Sonic the Hedgehog glass water bottle. You know what? I want to open this. Ooh, wow. This is really... Oh, and it's a Sonic Mania themed bottle, too. Wow. See, because it's got the caricatures from Sonic, Niles, Knuckles, and Tails from the game. That... Oh, man. This is a... Uh... I better be careful. I think I'm going to use this. This is a really nice bottle. It's actually a nice quality. So, okay. This box is making up for something. Oh no, what do I have here? Another f a shirt for Fallout. I do like the dog design. I like the little poochie, but unfortunately, Fallout is not for me. So, no thank you. What? That really pisses me off. So it's a Mega Man enamel pin set. I do like Mega Man, so this is something I'm definitely going to keep. You know, I want to... I got to try to play all the games if somehow. I have the Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 and 2, and then Mega Man Legacy 2 Collection, but not 1. But hey, you know what? These are some nice quality pins, and this is something I'm going to add to my pin collection indefinitely. Last but not least is a Super Fight Loot Crate deck. So it's just a... This is a 100 card version of the viral card game Super Fight. I actually have a, I actually have no idea what that is, but hey, that's that's a nice nice set of cards. Yeah, you know, I'll probably just keep these uh, sealed in the box. Okay, all in all, this unfortunately this was kind of disappointing. The last box cer uh, certainly made up for it, but um, uh, what can you do? Um, well. All right, you know, for the sake of it, you know, just because, you know, those first two boxes was sort, were sort of disappointing, let's just open up one more box and then and then that'll be it. And then the final video, you know, I'll just open up four boxes. It's like gambling, you see, you, you kind of have to keep going until you get something substantial. <laughs> All right, uh, start off with, this is a, a Pac-Man ghost pin. This is kind of, this is nice. I like the little, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for pins. I like, the, I like nice design pins, so this isn't too shabby. A Soul Calibur 2 t-shirt. Okay, that says Soul Calibur on the back, you know. I don't play Soul Calibur, but you know what? Soul Calibur is a game I wouldn't mind having. I do have a GameCube, so maybe I should purchase that because you get to play as Link in the exclusive one. So this is a shirt I'll probably keep. What hat is this? This, this is, uh, let's, set, let's skip the hat for a second. Oh, a Cuphead air freshener. Wow, that's really nice. I think I will... I probably should replace my Donkey Kong air freshener since that scent is gone, but, um... Ooh, Silent Hill. Looks like we got some, uh, flexible coasters. Okay, these are not too shabby. I can probably... I can use these for dinner, you know, if I put some cold drinks on it. So, thank you for that box. The poster, of course. Oh, it's a uh, Soul Calibur 2 coaster. I like the... I like the... Like I said, composition is really nice. It's pretty cool. This theme is a uh, nightmare. And my corrections were on point. Uh, this is uh, the, the going to the last part. This is the Psychonox exclusive beanie. Ah. Perfect. Thank you very much for watching this part. Uh, part three will be coming soon. And I hope you guys have a swell day and go play some Psychonox or something. I can't see anything right now. Oh, there goes the knife.